Hello everybody, this is Glorious P, back with another video today, and today is podcast number 10, um, I think you guys are going to like what I talk about today, we're going to talk about the NFL season as it's starting up, I think the uh, time of recording, um, the preseason is about to start up, I'm going to talk about the expectations, playoff picks, Super Bowl winners, players I think are going to pop off, um, I'm going to talk about what I'm buying and when it comes to collectibles, uh, more specifically um, sports cards at this time. And then at the end, I'm going to kind of talk about the uh, the economy as a whole, political landscape, and what how I think that's going to intertwine with our day-to-day lives. Um, and I have a big return coming, so kind of details on that at the end. Um, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think below. In the description is my eBay store. If you find anything on there feel free to purchase to support the channel and or hit me up on instagram um i can give you a little discount if we're doing it off ebay always happy to trade i'm always buying Um, i have a cool video coming up where i'm going to show my new setup um, and how things work but let's kind of dive into the podcast so the nfl expectations for the season Uh, it's going to be an interesting season in that you have a tale of two different conferences. You have the AFC, which is loaded. Then you have the NFC. And let's kind of run through the AFC. Let's, let's, let's run through the AFC first. So in the AFC, teams that I find competitive, that if you were to tell me are going to win the Super Bowl, I would not necessarily, I wouldn't really argue with you. I'd say, hey, I see your point. Um, those are good picks. I think the Bengals... I mean, they were got to the Super Bowl not long ago. Um, I think it's foolish to count them out. Um, I would say the Chiefs, obviously, always Super Bowl contenders with Mahomes. And I would say the Bills are still a solid team. I think they're going to regress a little bit, but, you know, a very solid team. That's three teams that are Super Bowl contenders, I think, are pretty much sure locks to make the um, Super Bowl. Then on top of that, you've got... Strong team, strong playoff contenders. I think you have to have the Dolphins in there. Um, Tyreek and Jalen Waddle continue to be, you know, tough matchups for people. I think the Jets with Aaron Rodgers, do I think they're going to win the Super Bowl? No, but I think they're, you know, uh, an interesting, you know, team. Um, the Patriots can't always, can't count out Bill Belichick. I don't know how strong they're going to be, but, you know, they'll find a way to win some games. The Broncos with Russell Wilson, I think they'll be better. Um, I think they're going to be in the hunt. Um, The Chargers, I think they are in the hunt for the playoffs. Um, Again, do I think they're going to win the Super Bowl? No, but that's going to be a very strong team with Justin Herbert, I think. The Ravens, of course, with Lamar Jackson, you can never overlook them. I think the Browns will be very strong. I I, I think the Browns win 10 games this year, um, at least. And, um, you know, I actually have a little side bet action with a friend. But, uh, you know, I think the Browns are going to be a pretty tough team. Um, the Steelers are always, they're always pretty good. You know, they're always a pretty good team. You can't ever count the Steelers. They've only gotten better over the off season. Um, I think Kenny Pickett takes another step forward this year. They should be a solid, solid team. Um, and someone has to come out of the AFC South, right? So it's either, I think the Jaguars are going to be a tough team. Um, they're going to continue to get better. They got Calvin Ridley, and he I think he's going to go off this year. More to, more on that to come. I think the Titans with Derrick Henry, you know, they can run the ball. You know, they, they could do some stuff. So when you're looking at the playoffs as a whole, seven teams, seven teams make the playoffs, right? And here's the teams I think are locks, right? You've got the Bills, um, and this is obviously assuming no catastrophic injuries. Bills, Chiefs, um... And Bengals, I I would assume, are pretty much locks, okay? Then you've got, you know, I would assume the Dolphins, that's a pretty solid guess. Um, That's four. You've got the Chargers, that's another one, that's five. And the AFC South, someone's going to win, I assume, the Jaguars, that's six. And so only one other team can make it. Browns, Ravens, Broncos, Jets, and Patriots are all fighting for that last spot. So again, this is all assuming nothing catastrophic. 
Obviously, the teams we like now, there's probably going to be an issue with the team, right? Um, but that is a loaded AFC, right? And the quarterbacks' cards that you might be buying, they, I mean, even if, let's say, Justin Herbert has a great year, he's not going anywhere. The Chargers are not going anywhere, in my opinion. And so that's a tough sell when you come when you come compare to looking at the NFC. You got the Eagles, the Cowboys. Those are going to be good teams this year, I think. Um, the 49ers will be good. That's three. But outside of that, I mean, who else in the NFC are you looking at from a Super Bowl contending? You know, I, I like this team a lot. They've got the pieces in place. Who, who else are you looking at? The Giants will be good, not great. The Rams, okay, they got question marks. Um, Cardinals, I think they are on the verge of imploding. Um, they'll probably be decent. The Seahawks, will okay, they'll be good, not great, you know. Um, I still question Geno Smith at quarterback. Um, in the NFC North, I mean, the Bears will be good. Again, not great. Um, Lions, they did well last year. They'll pro that people are picking them to win the division. I like that, but again, are you picking Lions to beat let's say the Eagles in the playoffs or the Cowboys? Absolutely not. Um Vikings, okay, but Kirk Cousins is not winning you a Super Bowl, I'm sorry. Um so the Vikings are who they are. And NFC t- South is terrible. Um Buccaneers, okay, maybe Baker Mayfield does something, right? Maybe he got maybe he's got something in him. The Falcons, okay. Panthers and Saints, I mean, uh, I guess the Saints with Derek Carr, but we've already seen a career of Derek Carr. You know, what what are they really going to be? So compared to the AFC, the NFC is just wildly, like, wide open. I mean, again, it's Cowboys, Eagles, or 49ers, in my opinion, are coming out of the NFC. I know that's not crazy take but and I don't really love the 49ers um they always seem to fall a little bit short um you know I I dare to say I think it's Cowboys year so let's kind of go into my that's my playoff picks if I had to pick from the NFC my seven teams I'm going Eagles Cowboys 49ers I'll take the Saints out of the NFC South and I will take out of the North I'll go Vikings I think they slide by. I think Lions make the playoffs. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six teams. And for the seventh slot, I'm going to go with the Seahawks edge their way in because I question Saquon Barkley with the Giants. Um, although I like the Giants there too, you know, to be a solid team, but they're in a tough division. So the NFC is full of a bunch of mediocre teams. Right, this one makes picking it difficult. So you got my playoff picks. Super Bowl. Who do I got going to the Super Bowl? I kind of leaned into it. I'm going to take Cowboys to make the Super Bowl. They're going to disappoint me. I'm going to be so wrong, and y'all going to bash me for it. But give me the Cowboys. I think their defense is going to be elite. Um, I think their offense is going to be just good enough to edge out um, the NFC. And the AFC... Oh, that's tough. Uh, in the AFC, I'm going to go, and this is on the fly. I don't have anything written down. Uh, I'll go Bills to make it out of the AFC. I'm going to be so wrong on all of this. Again, I think they regressed a little bit. I just I question how long Travis Kelsey will be able to be elite. The Chiefs, I think, are going to be um, a little softer on the defensive side of the ball. Um, and the Bills match up well with them. Um, so, you know, was it last year that they had that crazy game with the Chiefs? I think the Bills can make it right. Um, in the Super Bowl, I'm going to go Bills to win it all. Um, that's not the most popular pick, but it's my pick. Um, especially if I had to put money on it, I'm going Bills. This is not gambling advice or financial advice. But that's my pick. That's where I'm leaning with it. But when it comes to players to pop off, right? So when it comes from an investing standpoint, let's say you're into buying their cards, who are some players that I expect to be um, 
movers this year. Um, I think Daniel Jones with the Giants has a chance to make that step forward. Um, you know, this is really a make or break year for him, right? With the Giants, they already have a strong defense. Um, especially if Saquon's not there, but even if he is, you know, he's gonna have to throw it. The reports out of camp are that he's doing pretty well. I like Daniel Jones this year to pop off. Um, I like Kyler Murray as a rebounding player, along with Marquise Brown. I think that t- those two guys really sync up well together. I think they can really make some noise. Um, I like Kyler Murray a lot. I know I know a lot of people are kind of off his bandwagon. I think that's a play. Um, I think with the Seahawks, watch the quarterback situation. Right now it's Geno Smith. You know, there's always a chance he gets injured. He may not play as well this year. You know, um, look at their backups as potential uh, movers and shakers this year. Buccaneers, I like Baker Mayfield. To to, he's got Mike Evans and Chris Godwin on his team, and you know the Buccaneers are no yeah they're taking a step back, but they are no slouches. Okay, um. Baker Mayfield's that Jameis Winston type guy where he's going to put up yards. He's going to get some interceptions. But it's a wide open NFC South that the Buccaneers can find a way to put some things together. Um, they've got, hey, he's got a shot to make to the playoffs. Um, with the Saints, now, should you believe in the opposite? <laughs> if you believe in the Saints, I think Derek Carr has a great opportunity to win the NFC South, host a playoff game, and, you know, maybe win one. Right, it's the Saints. They're always competitive. Um, he's gonna have Kamara for most of the season. I like Derek Carr a lot. I think that he was kind of brought down um, in Vegas with, with their management. Um, and the NFC North, too many people are buying into Jared Goff. He is what he is, in my opinion. He's not a superstar. He's not dynamic. Um, I question. I question him a bit. Um, I like Jordan Love as a player, but again, the NFC North Packers are not going to win the NFC North. And Jordan Love, you know, I think he's going to be okay. Although some of the reports I'm reading aren't the strongest on him. When it comes to the AFC, in the AFC, players I'm looking to um, kind of grow their stock, kind of make a name for themselves, look for Calvin Ridley to have a bounce back here at the Jaguars. And the thing about what he did, he was only suspended, he was suspended for a year. But what he did wasn't Deshaun Watson-esque, right? Deshaun Watson was also out for a season. And what he did has turned off a lot of people when it comes to his um, publicity. Calvin Ridley, do we really care that he was gambling on the games? Um, Now, I have to look into it more. But I think gambling on games is less, you know, despised than what Deshaun Watson did <laughs> potentially you know so they say um with the Browns I do think Deshaun Watson bounces back I think that he's a good solid play with the Browns um I think Odell has a chance with the Ravens to do decent um you know Lamar Jackson he goes to the tight end he doesn't throw it deep but Marquise Brown did pretty well with the Ravens I mean he wanted out he complained it was a whole fiasco but it's Odell He's got the name. If he really bounces back, he's always got an opportunity. So that's players I expect to pop off. Um, so changing subjects, some things that I'm buying right now. So what I'm doing right now is still short-term flips. I'm not really holding things long-term. I still think prices of sports cards continue to fall, and really all collectibles continue to fall. Um I'm picking up stuff for my PC when it's the right price and it's something that I don't plan to sell for a long time um, that I can get for a good deal that I'm not going to see again, okay? So that's usually rare stuff, cool patches, that kind of thing. Um, I'm continuing to look for unique uh, players or people in general, right? I want stuff that when you see my collection of things... You're going to say, wow, that is a really cool autograph. That's a really cool collectible item. And so recently I picked up a Charlie Day um, signed picture for like $30. And, you know, I'd prefer the card, uh, a a card signed by him. But 
it's just a really cool piece. I get, I'm going to get it framed. You know, I'm not going to sell that. I love Charlie Day. Um, I also picked up some Motley Crue autographs. You know, I would love to get a, a vinyl signed by all the members of the band, but if I have to do it in, by individual band members, I'll do it that way. Some really cool pieces I picked up there. Um, but again, I'm all over the place, right? And and I'm just looking to, to get rare things because we live in a time where everything is mass-produced. Um, not just collectibles, your food is mass-produced. Homes are mass-produced. If you look at new homes, they're terribly built. Um so everything is so mass produced it's hard to find the gems amongst all that and so that's what I'm trying to do um but again I'm doing short term flips I'm going to have a video for you guys at some point showing my setup here I got a scanner I got the the thermal printer I'm going to get a new computer so I'm going all in with, with things but uh stick tuned for that subscribe to the channel and before I get to this last topic you know subscribe to the channel Again, hit me up on eBay while you're listening to me. You know, uh, you could be buying some things right now. So, <laughs> there's that. But the last thing I want to talk about is, is it just me? Forget, forget like your political affiliation. But does it feel like the political landscape and the economy we're in feels crazy? Like the temperature in the room just seems really hot. You know what I'm saying? And it, like, forget politics. The idea that an ex-president, and I don't care, Democrat, Republic, like an ex-president has been indicted, and they're, he's going to get indicted like for a fifth time, and now his lawyers are also being, I believe, indicted. It just feels like we're at a time where things have gone off the rails, <laughs> and um, the economy feels weird, right? Like... People don't have that extra income right now um, to go on vacations, to do whatever. A lot of people are working two jobs, and, you know, I pray for those people because, you know, no one really should have to work that hard, right, to, to be able to feed their families. But it just feels like everything is just peak temperature, um, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm overlooking it. Maybe I read too many articles. Um, maybe I, I spend too much time on the Internet. But I look at things like even our stock market, right? And this is not financial advice, but look at our, look at look at our stock market, for example. If you look at the S and P, we are still still near all time highs. And what's so weird about it is we were treading along for the for the years prior to COVID. Okay, we we're treading along, treading along, um, consistently going up, and then COVID happened. Things collapsed for a very short time period um for only a couple months and then we were hitting all-time highs now we haven't had a recession since 2008 a true year two three years long houses are underwater cars are underwater type recession um it has been what is that 15 years since we've had a recession 15 years that's like the longest time in history or if it's not we've got to be coming up on that time period um and and i'm reading these articles about how people are ret having to return their cars um because they can't afford the payments <laughs> on those vehicles and so that's why i continue to hold out on making any big purchases i'll wait if i'm wrong okay i'm wrong but things just seem so crazy <laughs> Things just seem so just just wild to me. Um, so I welcome y'all's feedback. That's, that's the comment question of the day. If you're still hanging around, I want to hear, you know, are you a big investor? Is the time to buy now? Is the time to sell now? Is it you're buying right now and you, you think I'm crazy? Just let me know in the comments what y'all think. Um, besides that, I appreciate y'all listening to the end. Again, hit me up on eBay, Instagram, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.